Hello guys, this is Football Us. We have some exciting news about the powerhouse of the Saudi League, Al Hilal, and their potential lineup for the upcoming season. As you know, Saudi teams are known for their heavy investment in football transfers, and with each new player, the league's quality only gets better. It all began with Cristiano Ronaldo, whose arrival sparked a football revolution in Saudi Arabia. Big stars have been following him just after six months of his transfer. Many people claim that all new players prefer money, that is why they join the Saudi side. But have you ever wondered what if Ronaldo wasn't there? Convincing those to join the Saudi side wouldn't be as easy without his magnetic presence. Do you agree or not? The Saudi side also wanted to transfer Lionel Messi to increase this magnetic effect and influence. Al Hilal made an astonishing offer to Messi for 500 million euro per year, which is 2.5 times of Ronaldo's salary. Messi though, had different plans and decided to join Inter Miami in the MLS and he is absolutely crushing it right now. But Al Hilal's ambitions don't end there. They are eager to have a player with significant influence in their team, and they turn their attention to Kylian Mbappe. A tempting offer of 700 million euros salary and a 300 million euro transfer fee to Paris Saint-Germain was swiftly made when they spotted an opportunity. The reaction of NBA players to this offer was priceless, even LeBron James. Anyways, you see, Mbappe has just one year left on his PSG contract, and while the French giants want to extend it, Mbappe dreams of playing for Real Madrid and becoming part of his dream club. PSG threatened to keep him off the squad for a year if he didn't renew his contract, and as a result, they put him on the transfer list. That's where the opportunity kicks in. Al Hilal, with their eyes on a one-year deal, aimed to have Mbappe play in the Saudi league before he moves to Real Madrid next year. However, this offer was also declined, leaving them to explore other possibilities. Every one of us should have the same name in our mind for the next target, right? If yes, can we say that Al Hilal is obsessed with Paris Saint-Germain? This time, they will try their chance to transfer Neymar. We will check Al Hilal's determination to build a solid squad, but first, hit the like and subscribe buttons and then let's dive into Al Hilal's current squad situation and their exciting new transfers that are set to shake up the Saudi league. Last season, Al Hilal finished third in the Saudi league, trailing behind Al Ittihad and Al Nasser. They scored 54 goals and conceded 29, but one major issue was really clear, the lack of goal contribution from their players. While Italo impressed with 19 goals and 2 assists, the closest player to him was Michael with 6 goals and 5 assists. Clearly, they needed more firepower from wingers and midfielders to complement their attacking play. Moreover, with Italo's contract now over, they are in search of a reliable striker to lead the front line. Their struggles in creating dangerous positions and finishing were evident in some matches. For example, they lost to Al Batten, who finished last in the Saudi league table, with a score of 1-0, despite having 76% ball possession, 9 corner kicks, and 25 goal attempts, with only 3 on target. Another disappointing result came against Al Adel, who finished 15th out of 16 teams, where they lost 2-0, despite dominating with 77% ball possession, 10 corner kicks, and 19 goal attempts, with only 6 on target. To address these issues, Al Hilal has made significant investments in this transfer window, making them the second highest net spenders in this summer's transfer market, just behind Arsenal. Their ambition is undeniable, and they have brought in top-class talents to strengthen their squad. Firstly, they secured the services of George Jesus as their new coach, who brings experience and tactical prowess to lead the team. As for new signings, they acquired Ruben Neves from Wolverhampton for 55 million euros, Kalidou Koulibaly from Chelsea for 23 million euros, Sergei Milinkovic Savic from Lazio for 40 million euros, and Malcolm from Zenit for nearly 60 million euros. These transfers prove that Al Hilal is committed to rectifying their goal scoring issue. The trio of Neves, Milinkovic Savic, and Malcolm comes with an impressive track record in terms of goal contributions. Neves contributed 6 goals and 1 assist, Milinkovic Savic delivered 11 goals and 8 assists, while Malcolm was in phenomenal form with 26 goals and 9 assists last season. With such firepower in the midfield, 
we can expect to see Al Hilal's attack flourish. However, their new signing's immediate impact wasn't fully evident in their first two matches in the Arab Club Champions Cup. Despite having 67% ball possession, 9 corner kicks, and 13 goal attempts, they couldn't find the back of the net against Al Ali Tripoli, resulting in a goalless draw. Then they lost 2-3 against Al Sad, but finally, they managed to win against Wydad 2-1 and secured to go to the quarterfinals with the goals of Milinkovic Savic and Ruben Neves. It's essential to remember that team chemistry takes time to develop, and we expect gradual improvements as the season progresses. Even though Al Hilal couldn't make the signings of Messi and Mbappe, their ambition is far from over. They are continuously exploring other options to strengthen their squad further. Let's check the most fun part of the video, transfer rumors. As the new season approaches, Al Hilal doesn't even blink an eye. Their new head coach, George Jesus, is set to take the reins for one year. After parting ways with Fenerbahce, George Jesus has now returned to Al Hilal, which he previously coached in 2018. This time, he has an almost unlimited transfer budget at his disposal. This is the dream of every coach and also every football manager players. He is determined to make a significant impact on the squad. With the huge transfer budget, this time, Al Hilal will be after Neymar. The Saudi club plans to send a delegation to meet the Brazilian's father to negotiate his contract. Their offer remains unknown right now because the interest is fresh. Let's guess the salary offer together, I will say that it will be around 180 million euros per year. Comment below what you think. And also, if you were Neymar, tell us below how much would you ask from Al Hilal. Let's go back. We all know that Neymar wants to leave PSG after the behavior of the fans last year. Chelsea and Manchester United are interested in the player but they also see the transfer as risky because of his injury problems. He was injured last February and had to have a surgery, which made him miss the rest of the season. But until the injury, he was on fire with 15 goals and 14 assists just in the mid-season. Therefore, he can bring so much value to any team. The midfield transformation doesn't stop with Neves and Savage. Al Hilal is setting their sights on a high-profile addition to complete their midfield trio, Marco Verratti from PSG. First Messi, then Mbappe, then Verratti, and now Neymar, yes, I think we can say that Al Hilal is obsessed with PSG. The talented midfielder has accepted a contract offer from Al Hilal that will see him earn 140 million euros over three years. However, PSG has initially denied Al Hilal's 30 million euros transfer fee offer. Al Hilal is preparing a more compelling offer to convince the French club to let go of their star midfielder. Moreover, George Jesus is looking to reunite with his former student from Flamengo and Fenerbahce, Willian Aro. The midfielder is currently on the transfer list at Fenerbahce, ready to make the move to Al Hilal. Up front, Al Hilal has already reached an agreement with Alexander Mitrovic but they are now working on finalizing the transfer fee with Fulham. Mitrovic will be a significant addition to their attacking options. However, the hunt for a marquee striker is still on. Al Hilal initially approached Robert Lewandowski, but the Polish player has expressed his desire to stay at Barcelona. Nevertheless, Al Hilal remains hopeful and is eyeing a potential move for Lewandowski in 2024. In the meantime, they have turned their attention to Viktor Osimhen, who had an impressive season with 31 goals and 5 assists in 39 matches. Premier League clubs are racing for his signature, but Al Hilal is ready to offer a compelling salary to lure him to the Saudi League. For the goalkeeping department, Al Hilal is considering Unai Seaman from Athletic Bilbao. The Spanish club is open to talks as they have trust in Agar Zabala, which may lead the way for the transfer to be completed for around 50 million euros. Then Al Hilal needs to convince Unai Seaman for his transfer. To strengthen their defensive line, George Jesus has set his eyes on Gislin Conan from Al Nasser. Al Hilal has recently approached Al Nasser for the transfer of the right back, adding another layer of competition in the Saudi league. While some of these potential transfers may prove challenging to secure, Al Hilal still has six weeks left in the transfer window to finalize their squad for the upcoming season. Stay tuned for the final part of our video, where we reveal Al Hilal's potential starting lineup for the new season.
and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. With the Saudi league allowing up to eight foreign players, Al Hilal is eager to take advantage of this opportunity to strengthen their squad even further. In goal, Unai Seaman is expected to be the main goalkeeper, providing a solid presence between the posts. In the right-back position, the club has their sights on Gislin Konen from Al Nasser, who would add depth and defensive stability to the back line. The centre-back pairing of Khalidou Koulibaly and Ali Albalihi is set to be a formidable wall against opposition attacks. And on the left-back, the experienced Yasser Al-Sharani is expected to hold down the fort. In the heart of midfield, Al Hilal has successfully secured the services of Ruben Neves, adding creativity and goal-scoring ability to the team. Joining him in the central midfield will be the highly sought-after Marco Verratti, who brings exceptional passing and playmaking skills. And of course, the versatile and dynamic Sergei Milinkovic Savage is expected to complete the midfield trio, contributing both in attack and defense. Further up the pitch, Malcolm will take up the right-wing role. The fans hope that he continues his last year's performance. On the left side, Neymar is expected to show us his outstanding skills and abilities. Leading the line will be the lethal striker, Victor Osimhen. While securing Neymar and Osimhen transfer might prove challenging, we must also consider realistic alternatives. If the transfers fall through, Mitrovic can lead the front line and Salem Aldasari can take the left wing position. Alternatively, Al Hilal can play for Diamond 4 4 2 formation with Nemer deployed as number 10 with the strike duo of Alexander Mitrovic and Victor Osimhen. And there you have it, the potential lineup for Al Hilal in the upcoming season. It offers great flexibility, giving Al Hilal multiple tactical options depending on the opposition and match situation. With the new transfers, they have bolstered their squad and addressed the goal scoring issues they faced last season. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on Al Hilal's potential lineup and the transfer rumors discussed in this video. Who do you think will be the key player to watch? Which position needs the most reinforcement? Share your views in the comments below. As we eagerly await the start of the new season, keep in mind that the lineup is subject to change based on the finalization of transfers and the coach's tactical decisions. Nonetheless, Al Hilal fans have reason to be excited as their team looks set to mount a strong challenge for the Saudi League title. Remember to stay subscribed to our channel so you won't miss any future updates on Al Hilal and other exciting football stories from around the world. You can check our latest videos about the potential lineups of Inter Miami and Al Nasser as well. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, may your favorite team thrive and the beautiful game of football continue to bring us joy and excitement. See you soon.